Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Panthers have been their own worst enemy during this losing streak. Now, take nothing away from the teams that have beaten them. Most of these problems have been self-inflicted. As they like to say, they've got to get themselves off their own schedule, meaning stop making unforced mistakes and see if they can finally get a W. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. See how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Gathered in at the six. He's out to the 30. And he's tackled at the 42. Cody's a guy, not only a great football player, but Kirby, you and I had a chance to talk to him this week. He's a special kid. He really is. I think he has his head focused and, and just seems to be a guy that really wants to continue to drive to become even better. Everybody's telling him how great he is, but sitting down with you and I, he was talking about the work ethic that he has and how he continues to, to try to push himself to become a complete player. I really love his attitude. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Got some open field. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Cody's the kind of guy that's work ethic really pays off. Right now, he's playing some special football and leading the conference statistically. First and 10, ball on the 36. He fights forward to about the 33. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Third down again. Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. It's a short kick. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Goes. Around the 
around the 23-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. From their own 23-yard line, first down. Brought down at the 26-yard line. Broussard gains around three yards on the run. Gets it out in a hurry. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he's going to come up with a sack. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. O'Neal is the punter. And he's taken down to 37-yard line. So far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. at the 23. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Gets out to around the nine. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Pitch play here. Touchdown, Georgia! <laughs> and he converts the extra point. A four-play, 37-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. So our score, 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. At the 30. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45. George is loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 48. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. And he 
he hits him hard at the 46. So the sack makes this third and very long. Moves up and the defense has got it. Fourth and long here after the sack. Stewart back deep to return. He dropped it. Tackle at the 31. I know I'd be nervous with 11 guys sprinting down the field of me, but the first job of return man is to catch the ball. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. Georgia is up a score. Cody on the run. He's to the 40. He's pushed out of bounds at the 44-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 7-0, Bulldog. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. seven-yard line so it's third down and they're just inches away from picking up the first down they come out in a five wide set and they make the stop at the 35 yard line Setting up the play action. That makes it second and ten. From the 35-yard line, second down. Georgia is up seven. Caught with room to work. He's out of bounds right around the 30. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. And yeah, this play is number eight on the drive. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen.
and he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Sooners entered the game ranked sixth in the country, but feeling the heat to hold their lofty spot. The Sooners have a lethal pass-catch combination for a touchdown. And for Holmes, he's caught a pass for a touchdown. The Sooners are out front, 14-6. 14 to nothing in this one, Reese. Owen has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 26. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Braddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Runs right, and he'll lose yards. has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Didn't get all of that one. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He fights forward to about the 40. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. From the 40-yard line, second down. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Once and all, going deep. It's the sophomore that's got it. He's tackled at the seven. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and goal. the left side. Touchdown, Bulldogs! <laughs> he makes the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Sooners roll into today's game ranked number six in the nation. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Oklahoma, they're looking for their fourth straight win. The Sooners lead it by two. A three touchdown difference here, Reese, 21 to nothing. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. Tackle made at the 24 yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. 
These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. From their own 24-yard line, second down. That's a great tackle at the 17. Georgia is going to use their first time out of the half here. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. The blitz worked on that play as they got to the quarterback. Well, the linebacker is going to get credit here for the sack, but that was outstanding coverage downfield. The quarterback didn't have any options downfield, giving the linebacker time to make the play. And he didn't get enough for the first. You know, Brad, he's going to come up short here. The defense does a nice job of not allowing the ball carrier to get out into the open. He's at midfield. Gets to about the 47-yard line. The Bulldogs obviously have built their offense around this guy. And through two quarters, everything's working, Herbie. But, you know, you can't just rely on one guy. And he's got to be careful a little bit in the third and fourth quarter, too. Well, you want to keep pushing. I mean, he's off to a great start. This offense is obviously off to a great start. It's a four-quarter game. And, you know, the opponent's going to try to get back into this game, take some chances. So if this running back is smart, he'll continue to challenge himself, his offensive line, and the entire offense continue to try to put more points up on the board. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. for six points here. And he's taken down at about the nine-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. And there's not much he can do to get away from the junior safety on that play. Rose, and it's knocked away. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. It's third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. Screen to the back, no good. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Yeah, they're dialing up some good blitzes, disguising them very well. This aggressive defense has enjoyed multiple sacks tonight. All the good plays from this defense has helped them into the lead. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he tackles him hard at the 35. Georgia State's going to take their first time out of the half. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Slings it out there incomplete.
Steps up in the pocket. He's got his man across the middle. And he is drilled at the 46-yard line. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Steps up into the pocket, and they've got it. They need to run some screens and some quick slants to try to take advantage of this pursuit because this defense is coming after them. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. He sails it long. Complete. It's the junior, and down he goes at about the 15-yard line. We've played a half of football here. Georgia's got a 24-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. You can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. George is a type of team, when you look at him, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this off. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Second, second and six. Second down and six. Ball on their own 29. Quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 33 yard line. That'll bring up third and two. He throws it. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. From the 43 yard line, first down. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. He scrambled. Brought down around the 30-yard line. That's good for game 13 yards. First down. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. Larry, Larry. Mike 55, Mike 55. Yeah, I'm 
Immediately tackled. It's first and ten. Ball on the twelve. They've been stopped short down here the last two trips. Tackle made right around the two-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. This is the eighth play of this drive. Quarterback all by himself from the backfield with five wideouts. Quick strike, and he drops it. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. And they make the stop around the two-yard line. That makes it first and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Second and goal. One yard to the goal line. Hussar gets it on the inside. And he's tackled at about the three-yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Defense and their short yardage package. it to the back. Tackle at the three. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks up, and it's good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. You know, they practiced all week this week, and they told us yesterday, Brad, that they felt pretty good about what they put in, the plan that they had. And I think now that you see them playing today, it's no wonder they felt so good. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Throws it out there. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Good open field tackle. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Armstrong is back deep to return the punt. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled right around the 50. That makes it first and 10. From the 50. First down. Mike, 
Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down at the 42. That's a game on the play. That makes it second and two. Maybe it's time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. The Bulldogs with a three touchdown advantage. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Mike 55, Mike 55, E, 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 E. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a gain of four yards. First down. From the 38 yard line, it's second down. And he's taken down at the 28 yard line. Rogers is at the 28 yard line. First down. Rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. That makes it second and ten. From the 28 yard line, second down. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. It's the ninth play of the drive. Stepping up. He's hit and taken down. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage which they took advantage of. This is the tenth play of this drive. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. They're at the five. Second down. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Great play here by the freshman safety. He read the run and made a good tackle. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Tailback brought down for a loss. Big decision here for the offense. It's fourth and goal from the two yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He makes his way out to about the 12. Second down now, they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Yeah. 
Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second and five coming up here. Ball in the 23. He's to the 40. Across midfield. And they finally bring him down at the 46. And that was a great run there. Well, here they came with the same play. Good blocking up front. He's able to break it for a nice gainer. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. He fights forward to about the 46. No gain. That makes it second and ten. comes to an end our final count in this game 24 to 3 hold on the Panthers for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time